and welcome back everybody to another episode of Joy's Garage. We're here in the garage, it's hot, but I need to clean and adjust my brakes. If you have a late model Ford, this one's going to be an escape, and your dash lights come on for the brake, for the anti-track, and for one of the other ones that's shown right now, you will know you need to adjust your brakes. So that's what I'm going to do today. The front I know are good, I just replaced the pads. I've done that every two years or so, so 70,000 miles, I need to get on these drum brakes and get them cleaned and adjusted. So let's go to it and take you along. Now the car's jacked up on both sides, I can actually spin the wheel on the back freely. And now this drum, if you listen very carefully, you hear a little bit of drag, just in one spot. And that is incorrect. You need to hear that little bit of drag whenever you turn this drum. So that's what I'm going to be correcting. Now this is the passenger side. If we go over to the driver's side, we might hear something different. So on the driver's side, same thing, I turn the wheel. And as you can see, it stops in one place. So these shoes definitely need to be adjusted. It should be spinning freely with a little bit of drag that you can hear. And it should be stopping like that. So let's get to it and clean it up. So first off I need to take off these little tabs that are holding this drum onto the assembly. And that's going to allow me to knock it loose and pull it out and expose the, the drum or the shoes. So it should be pretty simple. And these just come right off with a little bit of a little bit of muscle. Now the clips are off, just a couple love taps, and I should be able to get this off. And there we go. Easy as that. now with everything cleaned up, the biggest thing to check is it's going to be this wheel cylinder. This is actually what pushes against the shoes and makes it push against the drum. So if this is broken, it needs to be replaced. And the easy way to check it is to actually look inside these bushings. It should be dry in here. We don't want any fluid because there's actual brake fluid that comes in and presses it apart. So if I have any fluid in these bushings or in right here, I know it needs to be replaced. So very carefully with the screwdriver, I'm just going to come in and push this back a little bit. I don't want to damage it. I just want to get a little peek inside. There we go. Just pop under it. There we go. And it is dry. Bone dry, which is awesome. That means this isn't leaking and I have no problems with this actual wheel cylinder. So I'm going to put this, try to get this back on as gently as possible. Hold up. And check out the other side. In this side the same thing. Just gently peel it apart. And like I said I want to damage this rubber. And just peek inside. And same thing. So this is good. Don't need to replace this. All I need to do is adjust the pads. Adjusting the pads is super easy to do. Here is the bushing that we were just checking. And right down here, if you can see, there's a star wheel. This is adjustable. So I can just move it up and adjust how far these pads are out. So when I put the drum back on, it will be able to spin and just barely graze the surface. So this is what I need to adjust. All I have to do is toss this drum back on. Center it up and see how it feels. And if you can hear that, I'm getting a little bit of drag and it's a little bit too much. 
So I'm going to unclick it maybe twice because I did it about four times. One, two. So now when I put it on, bit of drag And that feels pretty good. So I'm going to keep it with that. So now, let's just do it to the other side. And the last step of the process is to bleed the brakes. So I have this plastic tubing hooked up, going down just to a water bottle with a little bit of brake fluid inside of it so I don't get any air bubbles. And I just have it loose. That way, it will be able to drain out and it's going to drain into the bottle. And I'll make sure I don't have any air bubbles and I have clean fluid. So I'm going to start the car, pump the brakes, and watch the reservoir, make sure it doesn't get too dry, and make sure I got some fresh fluid in here, and I have fluid moving. And there we go. Cleaned up the drums, adjusted the brakes, bled the brakes, and we're good. That is all to it. About half an hour's worth of work, and you'll have nice, or firm, pretty good brakes. <laughs> Like I said, these last for the life of the car, so all you got to do is adjust them, and it's as easy as that. So as always, thanks for watching. Make sure you ride safe, drive safe, and keep at least two wheels on the road.